hello friends welcome to my video tutorial in this video i am going to show you how to draw a section on this one bit floor pan and i am going to show you a section along this line so first draw a section line here this line say here on this line So this is section X so along this line I am going to uh, draw a section so to start I am using construction line draw a construction line here as the light X L enter then V enter so along this line i will draw my section so i am copying my construction line to each intersection point okay done now this is my line and copy this to about 24 inch uh, because this is my fj uh, finished ground level and this is my floor level and after the floor level I have 10 feet the floor height is 10 feet so write O enter 10 feet enter this line should go to 10 feet ok now TR enter this line and enter this line and also TR enter this line and this line ok now so this is my 10 feet line then I have a if I go to from this is my finished ground level then I have floor level and in floor level uh, I have a grade beam so I will draw a grade beam so rectangular and shift at the letter say 12 comma 12 so move this line to here and also copy this line to here I have a grade beam here and grade beam here then below the grade beam I have a bit, um, brick wall here ok now TR enter enter ok in my floor uh, now trim this line this line and trim this line ok now this line will go here and this line will go here and O O enter say 3 enter so if you use I'm, I'm not sure what type of floor do you use and I use so this type of I have a VFS at the bottom hatch a center and has this line this five ten and angle of this as is four to five then this should be twenty and then more six fifty okay this is my brick flat swelling and then at the above and I need to create an, another layer of hatch hatch say color of this one and this is 109 ok select this line and select hatch and again a center and I have a hatch concrete hatch here 5 2 say 1 ok select this concrete and this is under hatch ok so we use this type of float so I have a grade beam then uh, from the grade beam I have at the bottom I have brick flat swelling and then uh, above the brick flat swelling I have a I3 concrete casting okay now this uh, 
I have to show label here so there should be my label and copy this line to here and at the bottom we have soil and another other thing if you want to make label here I have to make a symbol then here and copy text from here copy this text to here so this is my floor this is my floor level reduce the text type so this is 3 inch and copy this to here this is e uh, f g l finish ground level okay and above here you can see i have a window here and here is a door and there is nothing so i have to offset or enter after 30 inch 30 enter I have a window here and the window height is 4 feet 6 inch so here now T T R enter this line this line the wall is free this is my window you can represent as per your presentation I am just showing here this is my window okay and I have a door here so I can show a door same over here small window and door okay here is a window and here is a door and above here I have a lintel so copy this uh, six, 5 inch width, 6 inch height, so 6 enter. Okay, and here if you use sunset, say 6 inch, and here is 2, here, and this is 3. TR. So if you use this type of sunset, or if you have any other type of sunset, then you can draw here a center has then mess this with this concrete so this is concrete and also has this and if you use a lintel along this one then you have to draw a lintel here also then copy this lintel to here has this to concrete okay this is done and now so we have nothing along this wall there is a door there is a door and there is a window there is a window and this is my 10 feet height so I have a total 10 feet height and then I have a roof so first trim this line and trim this line okay now O enter say I have a 5 inch thick slab and then I have a 15 inch beam so O enter 15 enter total 15 inch beam then TR delete this line and my beam is 10 by 15 so shift at the rate of 10 comma 15 move this here and copy this to here now trim everything trim 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 delete okay now hatch a center and remember if you have any extension of slab then you have to draw here right but I don't have any extension so I am uh, 
doing this way now match this concrete to this as this is done so if you have one story then you have to draw parapets say this is 30 inch or if you have three feet then you can draw three feet simply this way and if you want you, you can use a hash here say 50 and the angle is 45 so you can use a hash here and now you have to hash this wall this is my brick wall so hash here this line this line here 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 okay and also this is my brick wall okay so select this hash and this should be under this hash layer match this with this line done and again has the great beam should be has with concrete so here this is concrete okay there is another option if you cut a section here and then if you see along this way then there is a window and there is a window too so you have to draw this window how to draw this window uh, we have the window line here and also here now draw construction line here 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 now you can draw rectangle here delete delete you can see uh, there is your window and also there is two line of column you will see here there is a column line i have the column 12 inch width and the beam is 10 inch width that's why it is showing this way so this is your section for one story building and you have to put dimension here you have to show the dimension from here to here okay this uh, also you need to break this dimension to here and here then here so this way you can show your section and if you have a multiple history then you can do just delete this one and also move this one we can okay and now you have to copy just this portion but before that the line this line should be separate this line should be separate draw additional line up to here and an additional line up to here okay now copy this from this reference point copy as many story as you have so if you have three copy three times if you have four four times and then move this to here so this way you can make a section then you write a name and this is my section x hyphen x six so this is done you can use this way this is a very simple way of drawing your section if you have any complaint then you have to draw your own way you can represent your drawing as per your choice uh, i have just shown how to draw the procedure of making a section uh, in a building this is my concrete structure building i have machinery and concrete so i have shown here the way here and i will show you in my next video how to draw a section along this style line so thanks for watching my video see you in the next video